Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. On today's program, we will be taking your calls for the entire hour. Please call us. I'd love to talk to you. Maybe we can make some progress on your health problem today. First, let's go to our news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. Engaging in healthy lifestyle practices reduces the risk of coronary artery disease, even if you have a family history of heart attack. Researchers pulled four studies involving over 55,000 subjects. They analyzed each subject's DNA for evidence of familial tendencies for heart disease. They found the subjects with the DNA polymorphisms that indicate susceptibility to heart disease were 91% more likely to have a heart attack. They also found if the subject with a family history of heart disease practiced healthy lifestyle measures, their elevated risk of heart attack was reduced by almost 50%. The study was published by the New England Journal of Medicine. Well, folks, this is welcome news. Even if you have a family history of heart attack, practicing healthy lifestyle traits can greatly reduce the risk you inherited from your parents. The study found if you do not smoke, if you keep your weight near or at ideal, exercise at least once a week, and eat a healthy diet, you can reduce your risk of heart disease by about 50%. This means the 90% increase familiar risk of heart attack is reduced to about 45% increase. Now this study only looked at four lifestyle traits that protect from heart disease. They are again no smoking, ideal weight, exercise, and a healthy diet. But there is more we can do to reduce the risk of our nation's number one cause of death, even if you have inherited an elevated risk profile. Just recently the American College of Cardiology published a study that found patients at higher risk of heart attack who had higher levels of vitamin D in their bloodstream, well, they're at reduced risk of heart attack. Also, another new study published by Mayo Clinic Proceedings found taking fish oil helped those with elevated risk of heart disease lower their risk of heart attack by about 20%, and there's so much more. Now, here's the point of this line of thinking. You may have inherited the tendency to have heart disease, but just because your family shows this trait, it does not mean that you are destined to suffer a heart attack as well. You can take steps today that effectively lower that risk. These steps are simple, they're safe, easy, and cheap to do. When expectant mothers take a multiple vitamin, it improves baby's intelligence. Researchers evaluated 3,000 mothers and their babies over a 12-year period. They found the mothers that took a multiple vitamin during pregnancy had babies with greater cognitive ability equal to one full school year of education at ages 9 to 12. The study was published by Lancet Health. A related development from the JAMA Pediatrics and the University of Texas experts report, even though folic acid is added to all refined grain products, there are still many expectant mothers who do not ingest enough folic acid to prevent certain birth defects. Every year in America, at least 5,000 babies are born with birth defects that could have been prevented if mother had taken higher levels of folic acid during pregnancy. Even though the United States Department of Agriculture requires that all refined grain products be fortified with folic acid, there are still thousands of babies born every year with birth defects that could have been prevented. Spina bifida is a classic example of birth defect induced by suboptimal intake of folate as found in salad greens or folic acid, the dietary supplement form of folate. Experts recommend that expectant mothers should take a prenatal vitamin with 400 to 800 micrograms of folic acid and that they should eat a healthy diet complete with daily greens. The prevention of birth defects is just one benefit from taking vitamins during pregnancy. Our first study finds that when mother takes a multiple during pregnancy, it improves baby's brain development so much so that by ages 9 to 12, they are smarter by a measure of one full year of schooling. Isn't that amazing? Now recently another study found that mother and baby both benefit the most when prenatal multiple vitamins are taken throughout pregnancy, including the critical first month after conception. This is an important detail as many mothers do not know they are pregnant during this first month, a time when the vitamin therapies are providing the most benefit. This means mothers, if you're hoping to expand the family, Start the prenatal vitamins now for maximum benefit. Don't wait until after you know you're pregnant, as precious time will have passed. Infectious disease experts from Rutgers University and the Global Action Fund for Fungal Infections provide advice to help combat antibiotic-resistant bacteria treat for fungal disease when infections do not clear up quickly. Bacterial resistance to antibiotics has become a worldwide phenomenon, compromising doctors' ability to efficiently treat 
bacterial infections. It is estimated that every year some 23,000 deaths occur in America and $25 billion is spent due to infections resistant to antibiotics. The article published in Emerging Infectious Disease outlined steps to help doctors and patients overcome antibiotic resistance. Well, folks, this is a very important issue for both doctors and patients alike. I think we're all aware we should not take an antibiotic for a cold or the flu. These and most respiratory infections, not all, but most, are caused by viruses, not bacteria. So taking an antibiotic for a cold simply breeds bacteria that are increasingly resistant to antibiotics. We also know that more antibiotics are taken by feedlot animals than by humans, and this is certainly promoting antibiotic resistance, but the notion that occult fungal infections may be promoting antibiotic resistance, well, that's a new concept to most of us. The article provided several examples of fungal infections that mimic bacterial infections and thus promote antibiotic resistance. First is tuberculosis. This is a devastating and life-threatening disease, and when we truly have TB, it must be treated aggressively with multiple antibiotics for a long time. But sometimes doctors treat TB without proof that the patient has TB, and this leads to antibiotic resistance. Another example is treating a candida yeast blood infection with antibiotics as though it were a bacteria. Another is fungal asthma. This is a surprisingly common condition where a fungus infects the lungs, creating the symptoms of asthma and bronchitis, which doctors treat with steroids and antibiotics. Well, more resistance follows. And finally, we have osteomyelitis, an infection of the bone, which when infected by bacteria requires weeks of antibiotics. But when the bone infection is due to a fungus, it does not respond to even years of antibiotics. Now, most would say this is a problem for doctors. But I say it's a problem for all of us, as we, the patient, must endure the treatment failures, the complications, and the cost of antibiotic resistance. Awareness is the first step to fixing problems, even one as complex as antibiotic resistance. So thank you for your patience. We may have saved a life with this information. Well, today on Your Health, we will be taking your calls, and we'll be right back for that. Stay tuned. Are you one of the 62 million Americans suffering from gastrointestinal problems? Do you struggle with other chronic conditions? That's why we offer Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics. After years of research, we developed a revolutionary probiotic formula with gastro defense technology. This system protects the good bacteria from stomach acid so the probiotics reach the intestines where they go to work. Additionally, we use live count technology to prolong the shelf life of the probiotics so there's no need for refrigeration. Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics is a powerful combination and one of the most effective formulas available today. And we offer a children's chewable formula too, both at prices you can afford. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. Cindy Becker, and this is Your Health at a Glance. Do you want to maintain your mental clarity? With people living longer, we need more research into the ways to lower the risk of dementia. Studies are showing us that people who regularly read books, complete puzzles, or solve word games like the Sunday crossword puzzle maintain their mental abilities longer than people who don't. We also preserve memory by maintaining social activities, such as volunteering, attending religious services, or regularly talking with friends and neighbors. And diet plays a big role as well. It's important to eat a nutritious diet, free from heavy metals and chemical pollutants, and full of vitamins and the essential fatty acids which power the brain. These simple and important steps will help keep you mentally healthy for many years to come. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. There are thousands of fungal species, and at least 200 of them have been found to cause human diseases. Fungal infections are common, so what can we do to protect ourselves? One solution is oregano, a natural alternative. Oregano fights problems created by fungus and yeast overgrowth, and it improves many other health conditions. At BioInnovations, we offer oregano in gel caps and liquid extract. Yeast and fungal disorders can improve. 
So take charge of your health by choosing a natural alternative such as oregano gel caps or oil of oregano liquid extract. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. Welcome back, everyone. It is fantastic to be with you today. Today's show is going to be great. You know why? Because today is all about you. We're going to be taking your calls the entire hour. So if you haven't tried before, please pick up the phone and dial in 800-635-2673. That's 800-635-2673. Well, let's get right to the phone, shall we? And let's see how many people we can help today. Let's go to Nebraska and welcome Diane to the show. Hi, Diane. Well, hello. Hello, Diane. How are you today? I'm just doing fine. How can we help you? Well, I got a couple things going, but I'll just um, basically um, a lot of things going on in my body. For one, I have a gallbladder issues, but I still have it, but I'm working on that. Um, I have a lot of information on my body. I feel a lot of heat going on. Um, I can't sleep at night. I feel the pulse going on in my body. And also I have some heat um, and soreness going around in my breast. Um, I went to, I had a mammogram and all that going on and, and everything is fine, but I still have an irritation and the heat just come, coming out. So I'm trying to just get my body, you know, back into balance and help, you know, Back to yes. feeling better again. <laughs> uh, Diane, may I ask your age? I know it's impolite to ask a lady your age, but in medical matters, it matters. Well, I love it. I'm 58 years old. So are you going through the change? Yes, I'm postmenopause. Yes. When did the change occur for you? When did you first notice that? You mean the postmenopause? Well, when did you go through menopause? Was it 50? The typical age is 50, 51, somewhere in there. How about yeah. you? Same? Um, probably around the 50s, the mid-50s. Yes. Yeah. You know, for many women, they continue to have menopausal symptoms for the rest of their life. It, it happens. So is this heat you're perceiving, is it like a hot flash or, you, or are you turning red or is there actual temperature? Tell me a little more about it. What brings it on? Um, well, actually, it's both. I have body temperature. Um, you can, it's, and I get red a little bit and then it goes away. I sweat and then on my left, on my left breast, uh, you can feel the heat, a temperature heat. Okay. Are there any lumps or, um, cysts in the breast? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fibro. Fibrocystic yeah. breast? Yes. Mm-hmm. How are you doing with your caffeine intake? Well, I, I don't do a lot, but I, I'm starting now to cut down on it um, since it's been more irritating. So I've just been trying to drink like more like herb teas. Yes. Okay. Well, fibrocystic breast, I hate to call it a disease, but it, it causes discomfort and it certainly causes concern for a lot of women. These are little small BB-sized fluid-filled cysts in the breast, and they enlarge and become tender in response to what's known as bromoxanthines, and caffeine is in that chemical class of molecule. Also, chocolate has these bromoxanthines. Anything that has a caffeine component, which would be coffee, tea, chocolates, those are your common ones, and it can cause great discomfort in the breast. Now. Having said that, if we reduce our caffeine intake, reduce our caffeine uh, and our chocolate intake, and we supplement our B vitamins because pyridoxine and magnesium together with a little progesterone cream has been known to help the fibrocystic breast disease. Also, there's been some recent research on vitamin D 
vitamin D helping fibrocystic breast disease. And I would want you, in Nebraska, of course, you're above the, the uh, Los Angeles, Dallas, uh, Atlanta line, you're north, and so you're not going to have good sun exposure in the winters. I would want you to take at least 5,000 international units of vitamin D3 every single day. I would take 25 milligrams of vitamin B6 in the form of a B complex, B complex 25. Folks, when we use B vitamins as a therapeutic tool, for a case like this, say we, we wanna combat depression and we're gonna use niacin, higher dose niacin, or we're gonna use niacin to help lower cholesterol. We don't just take niacin. That's where we have problems with B vitamins. It's not real common, but it can happen. If you need a little extra pyridoxine B6, take the whole B complex because your body uses the other B vitamins to process the higher dose one you're using as a therapeutic tool. I hope that makes sense. Uh, people get into trouble when they take high dose single B vitamins. So we take a B complex. That will help with this. So it's B6, a little magnesium, maybe Oh, 250 to 500 milligrams a day. I'm going to send you these things and the vitamin D. Now, a little progesterone cream too, half a teaspoon. Now, having said all this, half a teaspoon of progesterone cream a day. Diane, this is really important, and it gets to our inner sense and our uh, self-doctor, our inner doctor. Do you have the suspicion that this breast heat and tenderness is a dangerous thing. As though, does your inner doctor say, be careful, Diane, this could be cancer? Yes. Yeah, you're concerned about it, aren't you? Yes, because my mother had cancer and my sister, so okay. yes. Okay, so very, you have a family history of, of breast cancer. Have you yes. been checked for the BRCA gene, the breast cancer uh, uh, gene? Have you been checked for that? Because it, it runs in families. No, no? Um, actually, somebody did mention that to me. Um, I basically have to talk to my sister to see if she has to do it first, I guess, and then uh -huh. I. Well, only one in 20 cases of breast cancer is due to the BRCA gene, but it is a factor. If it is in your family and you do have that, your likelihood of breast cancer is much higher. And some women will have a preventive mastectomy for that. Now, that's a very personal decision. That seems drastic, but if you have better than even chances of developing breast cancer in your mother and sister and aunt, I understand that. Breast cancer is a terrible disease to have. Now, you know, when your inner doctor tells you something, I think we have to listen, even if a doctor says your inner doctor's wrong. <laughs> you went, you had the mammogram, and it came back negative. Did they tell you that about 10% of mammogram results are written, uh, written uh, and interpreted and it's wrong? Did they ever tell you that? And depending no. on who's reading, it can be as high as 20%. They're just flat out wrong. Would you stake your life on those one in 10, uh, two in 10 odds? I wouldn't, would you? No, no. Okay, uh -huh. now I'm not saying they're wrong and I don't have an indication that, oh, they're way off base and you're in mortal danger, but what do we always say on this program? If it doesn't make sense, get a second opinion. Now, maybe this time you go, you, you know, there's some great medical centers in Omaha, Lincoln area. You really have some good hospitals, some high level uh, authorities in medicine reside close to you. I would go to one of those medical senators and make an appointment for a breast cancer specialist and tell them the story of your mom and your sisters, and here I have these problems and, and I feel I'm afraid. I wanna be sure, I want a second opinion. Maybe they do an MRI of the breast instead of a mammogram. It costs more, but it's more accurate. What do you think of that? That sounds, yeah. That I sounds would do good. that. You know, peace of mind is a precious commodity. And it's worth the trip, it's worth a little extra money, to have a better, and, and then, then with the family history, maybe every six months they check you. Also, they're not telling people that mammograms can cause breast cancer because it uses radiation. It's a fact. There's several hundred cases of breast cancer every year because of mammograms. 
Now, we still need to do mammograms. I, I'm not saying we should never do them, but we need a clear reason to do them. But here's the advantage of the MRI. There's no radiation whatsoever. There's no breast cancer risk whatsoever. There's also thermography now. We yes, check. I think I, Go yes, ahead. I got that done. What did yeah. it say? What did it say? It said that that's what it said, that I had the, the fibro crystal thing. Fibrocystic breast. Okay. Yeah, and, and that I had a low chance of cancer. Yes. It yeah, showed, fibrocystic yeah. Isn't, does, isn't a big risk for breast cancer. But iodine. But it can. But it can. Also, there's another area that can be very helpful. It's a little bit of iodine supplementation. I want to send you iodoral. This is a combination of uh, elemental and organic iodine. Take one a day for a month and then one or two a week for until the bottle's gone. And then replace your iodized salt with a new bottle because those big bottles of iodized salt, it only lasts for about six months and then it's gone. And I don't know anybody who, who consumes a whole big bottle of salt in six months. Not if you're on a low salt diet, you don't. So iodine is important, B6, magnesium, vitamin D, uh, progesterone cream, and I would still go get the consult and talk with an expert. You have family history of breast cancer, you're at heightened risk. And peace of mind, boy, I will go a long ways to get peace of mind. How about you, Diane? Are we communicating? Yes, that's probably why I can't sleep, and that's probably yes, why I'm getting the pulse and stuff, and that's why, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're, you're scared. That. You're afraid, yeah. and we need to listen to that. But let's take action so we don't have okay. to live in fear. This is, I'm going to become the minister now, is one of the strongest tools of Satan is to live in fear. God's right. love is all about peace, harmony, and no fear. So let's get out of fear, and we do that with expert help. What do you say? We okay. have a deal? We have a deal. Thank all right. You. Good luck to you. Let me know how you do, all right? I will, definitely. Okay. Thanks God so much. God bless you. We have a break. We'll Thanks. be back. Every day, about 200 million Americans do not get enough of a key essential mineral. That mineral is magnesium. The typical American diet does not supply enough. And magnesium is so important. It protects bones and helps more than 300 different enzymes in the human body perform efficiently. That's why BioNovations offers chelated magnesium capsules for oral use and topical magnesium gel to be applied to the skin. That's two forms of magnesium to meet your daily needs. Scientific evidence points to chelation as the best method of vitamin and mineral formulation. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Because chances are you are one of the 200 million Americans who need more magnesium every day. Again, that number is 888-442-2128. Call today. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Dr. Richard Becker and this is Your Health at a Glance. Could some of your favorite foods be making you sick? Cases of non-allergic food intolerance are on the rise. This is different than food allergies. Recent surveys reveal up to 20% of us may be suffering from food intolerance. People who have a higher risk of non-allergic food sensitivity are those with other types of allergies such as hay fever or irritable bowel syndrome, hepatitis C, chronic indigestion, abdominal pain or constipation. Non-allergic food intolerance can be delayed up to 48 hours or longer, so you may not connect something you ate two days ago with fatigue, headaches, abdominal pain, or depression. You can keep a food diary and write down everything you eat. Blood tests can diagnose the problem. Or an elimination diet can help you detect the foods that are causing your symptoms. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. For thousands of years, Eastern health practitioners have used mushrooms for a variety of treatments. And recently, scientists everywhere in the world have turned to mushrooms in search of health-promoting compounds. These are known as medicinal mushrooms. Among some of the most potent are ABM, Mayataki, Rishi, Shiitake, and Cordyceps sinensis. And BioInnovations, we've made available four of the most powerful mushrooms in one easy-to-use formula. We call it the Mushroom Complex. We also offer the amazing mushroom Cordyceps sinensis in a standalone formula. 
Cordyceps helps boost energy, an amazing discovery now used in both Eastern and Western medicine. So take advantage of thousands of years of health knowledge. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. We're back taking your calls the entire hour today. Let's go to North Carolina now and welcome Tona to the show. Hi, Tona. Hey, how are you doing? We're Great. doing good. How about you, Tona? How can we help? Uh, I've been suffering for quite a long time with, first in 2003, I had bladder, well, they said bladder cancer. It was actually a perforated urethra. And oh, they um, they took, did a total pelvic exoneration of, uh, and took out 14 lymph nodes in 2003, November. In October 2004, it came back in my lymph nodes and they said I had five years to live. What kind of cancer? Bladder. Bladder. Okay. I got it. Um, well, you've proven them wrong. Yes, I have. But I have suffered the whole time because I've had a stomach ache and I couldn't understand what it was. I went to a gastroenterologist and he found I had a heliobacteria in my stomach and yeah. treated that, but my stomach still hurt. So I, I was having nausea and vomiting and cramps uh, like labor pains, but in my stomach. Okay. And I didn't know what it was. I went to a different gastroenterologist uh, last year, about October, and the first visit, she just didn't know what to do. With the second visit, she did blood workup, and she called me the following week and said I had a lone star tick bite, which is a paralyzing tick. Uh, the reaction's paralyzing. And um, then any time I eat meat, beef, pork, deer, squirrel, anything mammal, yeah, right. So I, I'll, I'll have not, uh, not a meat intolerance is common with rickettsial diseases. Lyme disease, Rocky Mountain spot feeder, Lone Star. All of a sudden, people become intolerant. It's a it's a sign that you may have a rickettsial spirochete, this type of infection. That's interesting that you notice that, and and most doctors don't know that. They don't. Uh, don't but you know you certainly found. Exists. Now let me ask you, how did they treat you? What they do to treat this Lone Star tick? They sent me to an allergist who uh, told me I needed to be on a 24-hour allergy pill, and I, I've been taking that, like he said. He prescribed me a, a EpiPen, but it was too expensive, and I didn't see where it would. He, they told me that after I use the EpiPen, I have to go to the emergency room, and they don't really treat you for a stomach ache. I mean, it's... No, a, no, 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 no. Uh, no antibiotic for the infection? No. You're kidding me. None. I don't like that idea. I don't like it either, and I, 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 like since October, I've been trying to figure out what I can and can't eat, and it's really depressing because butter and milk and cheese all fall into the oh yeah mammal range. And if I put butter or cheese, or I can't eat some cheese. How, like now, now, tell me, how did they diagnose the Lone Star tick bite associated disease? They did antibody panel from no, your blood. Did. I, I'm not sure. They just did yeah. blood work up and called me the following week and told me. Well, you've been to a lot of specialists, but the one specialist who could really help you is an infectious disease specialist. Okay. Have you been to one of those? No. They, no one has suggested anything. And I have been throwing up. It's like I am have... Uh, well, this can't go on. I you've convinced me. Up, you know, it's They're not, you're not treated, being treated properly. Well, let's get past that. We need to find the proper treatment for you. Listen. Listen, this is very important. The type of, let, let's talk about Lyme disease. Let's talk about Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, uh, Lone Star Tick Fever. These are uh, tick-associated diseases. They're caused by a uh, rickettsia, or a, it's a spirochete. It's a special type of bacteria. It's, it looks like a corkscrew under the microscope. And it's a unique type of germ. It goes into cells. So it is shielded from therapies and it's shielded from your immune system. It also will eventually invade your nervous system and become even more resistant to treatment. So time is imperative. We don't want to just let these things go. They're hard to treat. The longer you've had this, the harder it is to treat. If you truly have Lone Star Tick, and it sounds like it because the food sensitivities is a classic sign of this syndrome. 
Boy, this is really I've an been interesting. I've suffering from it at least 10 years. Well, I mean, I can remember. I, I tell you, I, that's, that wouldn't stop me from treating. That would not stop me from treating. Okay. Infectious disease is the classic one. You know, I would start, you're, you live in North Carolina. Yes. Uh, you know, you have some uh, one of the best hospitals in the world at Duke. How well, close are you to Duke? Between uh, Winston Salem and a half week. Man, between I, I would Hill. call up there at the Infectious Disease Department, and I would, I would say, I've been told I have Lone Star Tick Fever, and I'm not being treated. Certainly, you have a doctor who knows how to manage this. And you know what? I think they would love to hear from you because it's a teaching hospital, and all the young doctors learning how to treat these rickettsial diseases could learn a lot from you. Now, listen, dear, I don't want you to go anywhere because we're going to a break that we have to go to. But when we come back, I want to give you a guideline about how you could naturally treat this. You can use it to complement your doctor's medicines and give you an idea of the type of medicine they use to treat these rickettsial diseases. We'll be right back. Thank you. Is your life out of balance? It may be. The average American consumes far too many omega-6s and not enough omega-3s. This creates an imbalance. So what can we do to get back in balance? We can eat a healthy diet. And most of us need to supplement with omega-3 rich fish oil. Fish oil contains omega-3s with DHA and EPA, fatty acids that promote good brain and heart health. So reduce omega-6 in your nutritional plan and boost omega-3 to get back in balance. To help you do that, BioInnovations offers two products, the Fish Oil Complex and Omega-369, both formulated for your health and well-being. So how do you choose? For highest levels of DHA and EPA, choose the Fish Oil Complex. For a balanced formula, choose the 369. Go online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Dr. Richard Becker for Your Health at a Glance. Does acid reflux keep you hooked on antacids? If so, you may be suffering from GERD, which stands for gastroesophageal reflux disease. GERD affects at least 20% of the adult population. In fact, Americans spend hundreds of millions of dollars per year on medicines to treat GERD. This is unfortunate because these medications have side effects. They can cause additional digestive problems and they lead to nutrient deficiencies, such as the depletion of vitamin B12. Fortunately, there are simple lifestyle changes that can reduce the symptoms of GERD. Avoid lying down or exercising within two hours of eating. Lose weight because obesity worsens symptoms. Limit foods that cause GERD, such as fried fatty foods, mints, chocolate, and caffeine. To improve digestion, eat a diet rich in fiber, yogurt, and drink lots of water. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. For centuries, the herb astragalus has been a staple of traditional Chinese medicine. It's used to create a strong shield, protecting the immune system. Astragalus is also used to support healthy heart and lung function. There's even more. Astragalus helps to calm total body inflammation, a common cause of pain and chronic illness. All of that without the use of medication. That's right. Support your health the way nature intended with astragalus root. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Astragalus Root Extract. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128 or order online at bioinnovations.net and see what astragalus can do for your health. That number once again is 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Call today. We're back. We've been talking with Tona from North Carolina. She has an unfortunate history. She had bladder cancer uh, back in the early 2000s. And, and one thing after another, intestinal problems and, and food sensitivities, and none of this is making sense. They took her bladder out, a bunch of lymph nodes. They dealt with the bladder cancer and saved her life. She's outlived the expectancy. But, you know, this is a problem we see in cancer survivors. 
They are fraught with health problems. The immune system is compromised in almost all cancer patients. They're susceptible to other diseases. They are often miserable, and the medical community looks at them and says, what are you complaining about? You're alive. You're a cancer survivor. Well, that's not very fair, is it? Because she has a legitimate problem. Finally, a concerned doctor does a test and they find that she has the Lone Star Tick Disease. Uh, it's very similar to Lyme disease. We've all heard of that. We've all heard of Rocky Mounted Spotted Fever. There's a list of eight or 10 of these. Uh, and they're becoming more and more common and they're all over the country, you know, deer ticks and dog ticks. Uh, fortunately, not so much the dog tick, but the deer tick is certainly, and it's a real problem. The longer you have this tick-associated disease, the harder it is to treat. The longer you have it, the more likely you have chronic arthritis, severe headaches, it can, it can infect the heart. It can cause, you name the organ, it can go to it and, and make you very miserable. I understand this. And I'm, I'm a little surprised it's not being treated. I would, if, if if that's the only option is to endure, I'd want to hear that from an infectious disease expert who has treated 200, 300 cases of Lyme disease, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, on and on, who's done a lot of this and they know what they're doing. And you're only going to find that type of person at specialized centers. So make phone calls, call around. If you have to move from your state to another, do it. This, we're talking about your life here. You've beaten cancer, you can beat this. I have faith in you, girl. Hang in there. Now, listen, there are medicines that can be very helpful. Tetracyclines are one of the drugs of choice. Erythromycins are one of the drugs of choice. But not everybody can take these drugs. And those two classes of drugs do not kill the germ. It just inhibits the multiplication. So that's not as good. See, penicillin kills germs. But penicillin doesn't work so good on these germs. So there are cephalosporins. Now, your experts know about this and they can help you with that. But I assure you, it will take months of antibiotic, at least 60 days of antibiotic, since you've had this for so long. Tona, are you still with me? Yes, sir, I am. Now, there are things you can do to help improve your outcomes with natural measures. And I wanna send you some things, but don't just rely on what I'm sending you, please. You need to see the specialist. Uh, Duke is a, is a great place. You I, suggested I go to Wake Forest Baptist. Yeah. I go to UNC the, now in Chapel Hill. Call. And that's a teaching hospital also. That's that, good. That's a good choice. Me. Be sure they have a top tier infectious disease expert who has experience with rickettsial disease. Now, folks, you've all heard of syphilis, haven't you? Syphilis is in the same category. I'm not saying you have syphilis, but we know how serious and dangerous that disease can be. Well, this type of rickettsia that you're dealing with, you get from a tick bite. It's not sexually associated. But it's the same kind of severity and life-threatening disease. So we need to know for sure what's going on here. So I want to give you some things to help your immune system. Oil of oregano helps kill germs. It's a natural antibiotic. Olive leaf extract is a natural antibiotic. I want to send you some mastic gum. It's really good on the H. pylori. We don't want that coming back now. Uh, the medicinal mushrooms and beta-glucans, they help to improve the immune response. So when you get the proper treatment, that 30 to 60 days of antibiotics will really do the job. It will really make a difference for you. IP6 inositol. A couple other things. Vitamin D, we want you on 5,000 a day. 5,000 international units a day. I want to send you a good multiple vitamin and mineral. If you have any nutrient deficiency, you're going to be compromised in your outcome. Probiotic, eat yogurt, take the probiotic supplement, and a little curcumin to help with the inflammation. Now, one, one more thing, and then I think you have another question. Uh, Les Cowden is a, he's actually, uh, internationally known and respected cardiologist and he's written textbook uh, chapters on Lyme disease effect on the heart and he has a protocol a natural protocol for Lyme disease and I know that's Lyme disease but it's the same class of germ and I think his protocol, which you can get for free on the internet, Les Cowden, C-O-W-D-E-N-M-D, cardiologist, he's out of Arizona, at, and search for Les Cowden's Lyme disease protocol, and it will come up, the whole thing. It's complicated, 
It's extensive, it's exhaustive, and it's not cheap to do, but it works. It's been studied and tested. It's a natural alternative. I want you to know about that. And if the doctors say, yeah, you have a tick's disease, but I don't think we need to treat you, you know better than that. Your inner doctor has told you better than that. Then I would do the Lyme disease protocol from Les Cowden. Even if it means going to see Dr. Cowden in Arizona, it'd be worth the trip because you're suffering and I, 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 I can't tolerate that. We're going to help you. Now, you have another question, dear. What is it? I'm already on a, a probiotic and on a vitamin D3. Good. Well, you need the whole program. Doing just the naturals isn't going to solve this problem. Okay. Okay? Okay. And they, if, if you were to come to me, and I'm not in practice, so don't do that. I want you to go to an expert who's done hundreds of cases. The first thing I would do is retest you to be sure. Laboratories make mistakes all the time. Now, I don't want you to lose confidence in our medical system, but mistakes happen. That's why we repeat tests. If it comes back two, three times positive, you better believe it because it's most likely true. Does that make sense? Way then. Yeah. But does it ever go away on its own because the... the With God's blessing and your absolute effort, you can be healthy again. The allergist in Chapel Hill told me that to be retested in, in 8 to 12 months because without further tick bites and with not consuming any meat products, mammal products, that it may go away. Is that so? It's possible, but I think you need antibiotic treatment. Okay. I want you to see an expert in the Lyme disease, the Rickettsial disease, the uh, Lone Star Tick disease. You need to talk to an expert about this. You don't get many second chances. Not just a, a gastroenterologist, a Lyme disease, Rickettsial disease expert. Okay, do we have an agreement? I, have a, I will, I will call and make Please do, it's worth the effort. We have a break, we'll be back. Can you lower your risk of disease? The answer is yes. One way is by including fruit in your diet. Fruit contains valuable nutrients that can reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, and even some cancers. We've searched the world and found four fruits we believe are among the best. Noni from Polynesia, acai from the Amazon, and two new ones, goji and mangosteen. These four juices each have amazing properties that make them great additions to your nutritional plan. If you're a diabetic or have chronic pain, these juices will help you feel better and have more energy. Plus, they help with digestion. Now you can experience the health-promoting benefits of all four in one convenient package we call the Fruits of the World 4-Pack. And remember, it's 50% off by the case. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. Talking about the sunshine vitamin, vitamin D3, makes me think of other ways to bring a little sunshine into our lives. The often quoted columnist of pertinent proverbs, William Arthur Ward, once wrote, a cloudy day is no match for a sunny disposition. This echoes what Solomon said in Proverbs 1530, a cheerful look brings joy to the heart and good news gives health to the bones. Cordyceps sinensis, the medicinal mushroom that supports metabolic processes for stimulant-free energy. This remarkable mushroom also supports the immune and respiratory systems, as well as the heart and lungs. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients, Cordyceps sinensis. Medicinal mushrooms contain beta-glucans, compounds that promote healthy immune function while helping to coordinate multiple body systems. And Cordyceps sinensis is among the safest and most powerful medicinal mushrooms available today, making it your choice for stimulant-free natural energy. 
Innovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. Be sure to ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. We're back, everyone. Let's go to Arkansas now and welcome Becky to the show. Hi, Becky. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello, Becky. How are you? Well, I guess I'm not too well, but I'm trying to get better. Okay. How can we help you? Um, I have been probably diagnosed for maybe 12 to 15 years with MS, although I think I'm 58, and I believe I started having symptoms of that in my early 20s. Okay. Um, that I've been using Avonex, which is an interferon once weekly. And I is that helping you? Is it working? Um, I, I think, I mean, I haven't had a lot of exacerbations that are, that are um, very detrimental. I, it, this has been mild MS. I've been real blessed with that. Okay. But this week I was diagnosed with a second autoimmune. And um, so it's just so, I, I guess, just, I don't know, kind of crushing. And I, I just feel like there's a holistic approach yes. or a diet plan, and I have no idea what to do. What, what's your second autoimmune disease? Sarcoidosis or sarcoid. Yes, yes. Oh, my. That's a problem. How, how confident do you feel the doctors are that you have sarcoidosis? Because it's not always so easy to do. To this, diagnose. this is my second. I went to a second opinion, and I have a lot of faith in this doctor. He is specialized. The, um, the type of scope that he does. Yes. And, um, you know, I, I had that done last week. So, so they did a, a bronchoscope. They went in and because yes. that's they the did. gold standard to diagnose it. Yes, he did. Um, I had a, I had just some brushings a few years ago. Yes. But he actually took lymph node tissue and the nodules. Okay. I want to discuss something with you, and I want to say right off it's controversial. Well, okay. we're going to talk about, but it's right. imperative you understand this. Yes, sir. MS, uh, this last year, or maybe it was two years ago, a big study came in and it, it proved that if you take vitamin D, it improves the course of MS. Have you heard about that? Yes, my neurologist wants me on that, but I, I, I already kind of thought I had sarcoid. And what I read about sarcoid is that it's not good for sarcoid. So exactly. That, That's the controversy. So... What is your vitamin D level? Do you know that? I stopped it when I started all this other... Uh, oh, my! It's, it's, it's within the normal range on my blood work. Normal? I, See, like, we don't know what normal is. That's the problem. Okay. Uh, if I may say so, uh, viewers of our program know more about vitamin D than your doctors do. Oh, because sure. we have discussed almost 500 different studies of vitamin D on this program. We know a lot about it here, and I want to help you understand it a little better. So here's the thing. With sarcoidosis, it's a granulomaceous disease. You form, uh, it's, 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 it's tumor growth, but it's not cancerous. Right. And it has been thought for decades that if you take vitamin D, because we've suspected that vitamin D helps autoimmune diseases, but in sarcoidosis, it's thought in theory that if we take vitamin D, it may raise your calcium levels with sarcoidosis because you're prone to high calcium levels with sarcoidosis. And we wouldn't want to do anything that would raise your calcium too high because it can cause uh, heart problems. It can even cause death if it gets too high. It causes you a lot of trouble that you don't need. Now, this is not so much based on empirical knowledge, and me meaning there's hundreds of reports of hypercalcemia in sarcoid patients who have taken vitamin D, it's more in theory. And in fact, in recent studies have shown that the high calcium level is only an intracellular phenomena, not in the bloodstream where it really would cause a problem. That's the controversy. But it's preliminary information, and I don't want to chance your life on something preliminary. You follow me? The yes. problem is we can make your MS better with vitamin D, and we'd want to do that if we can. See the dilemma? Uh-huh. So what do you think? What's your inner doctor saying? Do you um, think vitamin D would help you? See, what you could do if you're willing to do the work, you could take vitamin D but have your calcium levels checked periodically to be sure they don't go up. 
See, that's okay. a compromise. That's right. a compromise. So, but you'd need the full cooperation of your doctor to do that. And you understand it's controversial and we can't guarantee results because if you poll 100 doctors on sarcoid, they say, oh, no, no, no vitamin D. I'm the only guy who's saying maybe you can. I want okay. that very clear. <laughs> but I know it would help you. <laughs> I don't know how I know. Well, I just do because of okay. the, all the studying I've done on vitamin D and autoimmune disease. We know without a doubt it's going to help your MS. See, the other thing that I want you to realize real quickly that sometimes a fungus, a fungus, that's, sing, that's singular, and fungi is plural, a fungus or yeast infection of the lung can mimic sarcoid. If we treat for yeast, sarcoid often gets better. Also write this down, make sure your hormones are good, make sure you're not full of toxins, make sure you're not vitamin depleted, and make sure there's not an infection. That would be the yeast in the lungs mimicking sarcoid. When we counter those four things, autoimmune diseases remarkably get better. So I want to send you foundations for healing so you can read and learn. But talk to your doctors about taking vitamin D, but following your calcium level and see if they can do that for you. But don't take any chances because we don't want problems. Does that make sense, Becky? Yes, and I've been really struggling with foods to eat or foods to avoid. Um, because I feel like you know, your body Whole foods. is so great, it can heal yourself. Whole foods with lots of probiotic. And, uh, I tell you what, Foundations for Healing has a beautiful diet for you. There's even a whole chapter on autoimmune disease that's going to help you a lot. Okay. Thank That'd you, Becky, great. for your call and good luck Thank for you. Thank you for your time. Thank oh, you. it's my pleasure, dear. Uh -huh. We'll be Bye. back in a minute. that nature holds the answer to your health needs? Are you looking for a supplement that's simple and pure, yet really works? If you're looking for nature's answer to better health, look to Aloha Noni Juice. It's pure and fresh, just like nature intended. Aloha Noni Juice is brought to you direct from the islands of Polynesia. Aloha Noni Juice is 100% pure with no added sugar or sweet fruit fillers. It's the perfect addition to your low sugar diet. Aloha Noni Juice drinkers will tell you their vitality, energy, and sense of well-being have improved, along with relief from many painful conditions. Made by nature, proven by science. Aloha Noni Juice contains only nature's best. And now you can enjoy the benefits of our new 100% certified organic Noni Juice. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Dr. Richard Becker for Your Health at a Glance. Do you have a family history of a certain disease? Scientists are discovering that our genetic code plays a smaller role than previously believed. Only about 20% of disease is tied to our innate genetic code. So what determines the other 80%? The answer may lie in the emerging field of epigenetics. What is it? Epigenetics is a group of changing factors responsible for both how our genes are read and how they are then applied throughout the rest of the body. And this may explain why identical twins with identical genes can have different health problems. Researchers believe two of the main factors in epigenetics are nutrition and environmental exposure to toxins. So eat a healthy diet, reduce toxin exposure, and you may improve your own epigenetics. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. CoQ10 and L-carnitine are among the most important nutrients our bodies use for energy production. Deficiency in these key nutrients can cause serious complications to your health. In fact, statin drugs that are used to lower cholesterol may deplete your CoQ10 levels. Bioinnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients CoQ10 with L-carnitine. Now providing support for cardiovascular health is easier than ever before. CoQ10 and L-carnitine support a healthy heart naturally, as nature intended. And our formulation provides 300% greater absorption of CoQ10 than similar products using a technology so effective it's patented. Bio Innovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. 
Your Health is brought to you by BioInnovations, trusted products for your health and well-being. We're back. Let's go to Texas now and welcome Ethan to the show. Hi, Ethan. Uh, hi, Cindy. How are you? Great. Pretty good. How about you, Ethan? How are you? I'm doing really well. I'm blessed. Good, good. What's on your mind? How can we help you? Well, I recently had surgery on my knee, and it was a pre it was pretty extensive. They had to replace three ligaments. Okay. And uh, the strength is back, and I'm doing all kinds of stuff. But what I'm really having trouble with is range of motion, particular particularly extension. Was it is the anterior cruciate ligament? Did they have to do that? I'd say again. The anterior cruciate ligament. Oh yes, ACL, yeah. MCL, LCL. Oh my, you had the full meal deal. How mm -hmm. long ago did this happen? Uh, end of September is when the surgery end was. End of September? Uh-huh. Okay. Well, let me say the typical recovery for that type of surgery where you're now pain-free yes, is, pain -free. is around 18 months. Yes, but pain-free. It, it takes 18 months to where you can maybe jog, walk, uh, have a good long day, and, it, and the bone just doesn't ache, the knee doesn't ache. Now, okay. some people may have recovery faster than that, but that's not unusual. It takes 18 months. And you will hear of professional athletes who recover quicker, but you have to understand, they are highly motivated to return to get back into the game. They will take performance enhancing medicines such as anabolic steroids to hasten recovery, which you are not willing to do. And if you're no. thinking about it, I want to discourage you. There's a lot of money at stake for professional athletes and they're willing to play in pain. And they're used to playing in pain because football and, uh, you know, professional athletes, it's a life of pain. That's just how it is for them. So they're going to recover quicker. Plus, they go into the surgery a lot stronger and better condition than the typical person. So they recover a little quicker. Now, things that are real important. Number one, do exactly what your surgeon and physical therapist tells you to do. It takes time to get the full range of motion. And most people lose about 5 to 10 degrees of motion of the knee with that type of surgery. They never get it all back. But that's okay, because you have a stable knee. So we'll, we'll lose a little range of motion to get the pain and the stability of the knee back. That's just part of it. Be sure you're taking a good multiple vitamin and mineral to assist with healing. We don't want any nutrient deficiency to stall your healing and leave you in chronic pain. Well, this is true whether you have joint replacement, uh, end your cruciate, uh, uh, spinal disc disease surgery, effusion, whatever it is, any orthopedic problem, we don't want any Thing, uh, any nutrient deficiency to lead to that. Multiple vitamin and mineral, calcium, magnesium, zinc, selenium, the minerals are critical in bone healing. Vitamin D plays an important role. 85% uh, of emergency or acute care orthopedic surgery patients go into surgery vitamin D deficient, so low that it compromises their healing. I don't want anybody to have that when you know the truth. Get on Vitamin D America. That's how you save money in health care. A good probiotic, because everybody gets an antibiotic now, right? We got to restore gut flora. Uh, no need juice for pain. Get on the yogurt. Uh, use your probiotics. It makes such a big difference. And many people, especially seniors, need a little protein supplement. A little whey supplement helps to build the strength back up in those muscles. It makes it more efficient. So that's a good program for anybody recovering from surgery. And thank you for your call. Good luck in your rehabilitation. Well, really interesting set of calls today. Great stories, and I hope we helped a few people. I'm especially concerned about the rickettsial disease, but I have the feeling we're going to get a good answer on that one. Thank you for your kind attention. We'll see you tomorrow, folks. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow right here on Your Health. Bye-bye. Did you know lifestyle diseases are a $2 trillion economic burden annually? Benjamin Franklin once said an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Don't wait for a diagnosis, disease, or other ailment to surprise you. Eat an apple, take a walk, give a hug. Take positive preventive steps towards a healthier lifestyle, and you'll experience vitality every day. It's not crazy, just healthy. Many people are searching for God's purpose for their lives. Artist Freeman Nelson is a pastor and author who helps inspire positive transformations. His new book, Morphed, describes how each of us can be changed from a person burdened with regret to someone who is free to develop a close personal relationship with God. Available at